What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zach Wattis and thank you very much for stopping by the video today and my channel. So today's video is probably going to be rel relatively short, I know I say that a whole lot but um, this one might be pretty short. Today's video is going to revolve around a question I received via Twitter last night asking me why I haven't upgraded all my equipment to higher quality standards I guess and I thought making a video to tell everyone would be a good idea. Before I explain everything in my situation, I guess the bottom line is that I want to prove to myself and to everyone, to YouTube and basically the world that you can, in fact, grow a YouTube channel without spending the hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of dollars in equipment. I know that might seem a bit arrogant of me, but I've always had the mentality of making the best of what I have at the moment. That's not to say I'm not open to upgrading my equipment, I just don't see myself doing that in the near future if you understand what I'm saying. Now I'm 136 subscribers into my little career I guess, um, into my hobby, whatever you want to say. There are still people in the same kind of realm of subscribers, you know 100 to 200 um, subscribers that are putting a bunch of money in to YouTube and recording that I don't feel is necessary. If it's a personal thing, like you want to have the highest quality you can, fine, by all means, go ahead. I'm not here to tell you otherwise. I'm just, I'm simply here to tell my side of the story, my own opinions. As always, in all my videos, I speak from my personal opinions, my experiences, and my current, my current uh, situation, I guess. Going back to wanting to prove to people, I guess it's kind of a challenge for myself as well. I always enjoy challenging myself when it comes to new things. The main reason this kind of thing came into my head was about a week ago, I went out and bought myself an Elgato, installed it, played around with it for a bit, and it turned out that this computer was not powerful enough to handle that and it was really slow, sluggish, it didn't record, and there was just a bunch of issues and it was not fluent and enjoyable. It wasn't a great experience. So I got my money back. I took it back to the shop. That's what really sparked my mindset for all this where I don't need to upgrade my recording software. You know, what I'm using at the moment is working perfectly for me. It may not be the most um, fluent way of doing it. Elgados have the, the accessibility to just press a button, record however long your video goes for, stop it, and uh, you're done. However, I kind of like having to record for 10 minutes, sync myself up, wait for the 10 minutes to finish, record myself in, and I do that for however many you know clips it takes to get to enough footage for the video. Everything I'm saying is a personal thing. If you guys want to go out and grab yourself an Elgato, grab yourself the top of the line microphone, the best webcam out there, I'm not gonna stop you, I'm not gonna speak down on you, do your own thing. Every person on this earth is different and you guys should be free to do whatever you guys want. I guess all I'm saying is that whatever I'm working with at the moment is perfect. The only thing that I would upgrade is my camera quality because you know 720p is not the standard anymore. It's about 1080p or 4k. 720p for me has always been enough. You know it's just enough um, high definition or high quality where I can enjoy everything. And the only reason that I would upgrade is if I had a lot of feedback saying, bro, it's time to upgrade your uh, webcam, your your face cam. It's getting a bit outdated. So basically if 720p wasn't a thing anymore or no one was watching anything with 720p, that's the reason I would. The now, like I said, everyone's free to do their own thing and you have people who are still tiny channels like myself who are putting in hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of dollars into equipment. Personally, I just think it's not necessary, especially if it's a hobby. I don't personally understand why you put all this money in for something you'll do a couple times a week. However, if you're a streamer, a daily streamer, or uh, you know, every few days a week kind of streamer, an Elgato is essential. You know, you've got to capture your gameplay, you've got to capture your face, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So if you're a streamer, maybe everything I'm saying doesn't really apply to you. I'm trying to speak for content creators on YouTube specifically. Now, I'm always on a very low budget, and the same thing goes with my photography. This camera is 
fucking decades old, probably not, but it's relatively old. I want to say early 2000s, maybe mid 2000s. Uh, this is the Canon 40D. I picked it up on eBay for about 320, 100, 330 or so. I don't plan on upgrading that. It gives me the quality pictures that I'm after. The only reason I'd upgrade that is because if I got bigger shows and darker darker venues, this camera can only go so high, the uh, brightness or whatever that it can capture can only go so high and, and so low that there are some shots that I just cannot physically and literally cannot get because the camera does not have the capabilities for that. But when it comes to YouTube, the only things I have have invested in most recently is these headphones. Like I said in the last couple of videos, I believe, they're about 47 or whatever. Um, and that was basically just because I got an Xbox so I can uh, chat to my friends. I mean, the audio in these ones, these are the ones I use for my editing and uh, whatever I listen to on the computer. Where the fuck did I buy these from? I'm pretty sure I just got these from EB or something that was super fucking cheap. As for this webcam, this is a Logitech C910, I believe. Um, I believe the newest one is about a C930. That I paid about 25 bucks for that, 20 bucks if that. The most thing I've invested in was here, this microphone. This was about 170, 180. That is not a lot, but for me, that's enough. If you guys go back to my really old videos with my face cam, I was recording my microphone audio with my with my phone. Um, I also used a thirteen dollar fucking condenser mic off eBay. The audio was terrible, tinny, staticky, not good whatsoever. And then I used uh, one of those desk ones that have like the flat thing and just basically had a fucking microphone dick coming out of it. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. So this is the biggest expense that I've ever invested into um, YouTube. And once again, this video has gone longer than I anticipated. For the person who uh, wished to, to remain anonymous, who asked me this on Twitter, the reason why I don't want to upgrade or talk about it so much is because one, I'm fine with everything I have at the moment. It works perfectly. Two, I'm not on a very high budget. You know, I've got bills, I've got shit to buy. Considering this is a hobby of mine, a great fun hobby, it's not enough. It's not, my, it's not enough of a career that I need to upgrade everything. So for the time being, everything I'm doing works perfectly for me. It's what I'm used to. And like I said, the only reason I would upgrade is in case 720p wasn't a thing anymore. And then I guess if everyone in the comment section was telling me I need to fucking upgrade and get with the times, then I would do so. But for now, everything I'm using is fine. The console records greatly. There is an issue here and there um, transferring files from Xbox to computer. But I mean, it's fun. It's a bit of a challenge. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Hopefully this was, I don't know. I just wanted to answer the question on, in a video in case other people were wondering the same kind of thing. So yeah, it is the 1st of December, which means we have another month until 2018. Still haven't been able to reach my goal, but I would love to have your guys' help. Be sure to tell all your friends and family to go over and watch my channel, watch my stuff. Be sure to tell them to subscribe. I'd like to try and hit 150 by the end of the month. So without your guys' help, don't think that's possible. And last but not least, another promo. Chris Fronzak, the founder of Stay Sick Clothing, has come out with a video saying that with every single order that anyone does, no matter what the item is, he's going to be chucking in a free signed poster for everyone. I don't know if you can see right here, but this purple one is another one he's done in the past. It is personally signed by him himself. You can bet your fucking ass I've already ordered shit. I want another poster. I'm excited to get some more clothing. I love going to work at this new job, being able to wear whatever I want. And in a way, it just makes me feel good about myself. And I haven't been able to do that before, and it's really fun. So if you guys would like to cop yourself a free signed poster by my dude, be sure to head over to Stacey Clothing. The link is in the description. Go have a look, pick up something you like, and uh, you can grab yourself a free fucking poster. He's only doing it for the whole of December. So, I mean, you've got plenty of times the first. You've got a fucking another 30 days or some shit. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, do not know if it makes sense. Nothing I say makes sense, but hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see everyone in the next video.